This is a video for how to make cotton candy. In this video, we will be featuring item number 854cc, the cotton candy cart, along with gold medals, a Kano floss machine, model number 3017. You will notice this cart comes with a built-in stand that supports most cotton candy machines. We have placed a cotton candy machine upon the stand as well as a bowl on the cotton candy machine and the double bubble on top of the bowl. If you are outside, the double bubble protects the cotton candy floss from being blown around in the wind. Inside the bowl, you will see the whirl grip stabilizer that is attached to the clip shown. This allows the floss sugar to stick to the stabilizer as it comes out of the cotton candy machine. It is important to always have the whirl grip stabilizer in place on the bowl in order to make cotton candy. As we look down in the center of the cotton candy machine, you will notice two leather floaters, one on each side of the cotton candy spinner head. Before you begin, you will want to take the floater on the right, pushing it towards the front of the bowl and pull down. The one on the left, pull towards you and twist up. This allows the spinner head to throw the floss sugar off of the leather floaters onto the whirl grip stabilizer. Now we are ready to begin. Once you have plugged in your machine, you will notice that there are three switches on the front of the cotton candy machine. The heat switch, the master on-off switch, and the heat adjustment. Today we'll be making Lemonade Plunge brand chocolate covered strawberry floss sugar, item number 862. Open the floss sugar and pour it into the center of the spinner head. Be careful not to overfill. Turn the master power switch on, the heat switch on, and turn on your heat adjustment knob to three quarters of the way. Go ahead and grab your cotton candy cone as well. It only takes a matter of a few seconds and the spinner head heats the floss sugar and you will start to see it coming out onto the whirl grip stabilizer. At the same time you tilt the cone downward, you will want to turn the cotton candy cone counterclockwise in your hand while your arm is moving clockwise around the cotton candy bowl. Keep moving around the cotton candy bowl until you have reached the desired size of your cotton candy cone. When you are finished, turn off the heat and the master switch on the machine. We have now created a lemonade plunge chocolate strawberry cotton candy. The cotton candy cart features an extra banner at the top of the cart. If your customers are standing in the front of your cart waiting to get a cotton candy, you can easily display your cotton candy cart above the crowd. Call one of our customer care representatives today if you would like to purchase the item number 854cc cotton candy cart for your business. 